time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live on a Wednesday, September 13th Hope everybody's having fun on this low premium, low movement day. S&P currently up five, NASDAQ up 67, Russell down 12, and Dow down 44. Good day so far. And as I say that, I got stopped out of my PM Iron Condor. Stopped out of my PM just now, uh, but did just hit 40%, closed half on the quiet lunch, uh, booked 50 and 80% profit targets on the AM Iron Condor. Now I could use a little bounce for my remaining quiet lunch. And we got ourselves a little mini sell-off. Three point sell off. A little bit more than that. For power hour, definitely a straddle. See if price is going to hug a strike around our entry time. I posted with the uh, with the link there that got some construction renovation going on in my building. It's fine for the time being. It's kind of off and on, but if it at some point, sometimes it kind of sounds like a jackhammer on concrete right in my in my uh, office condo. So that starts up again. I may have to cut out of the live stream early my mic does a pretty good job of filtering out background noise but it's pretty loud and very distracting so we'll see hopefully it hopefully they're done for the day So I've got half my quiet lunch left. And getting ready to load up for power hour. I need to actually I'll buy uh I'll buy a few longs here. Price still coming down. Looks like I'm going to get it stopped out of my remaining quiet lunch here. Stopped out at $22.95. So let's see, was that for a profit? Small loss on the uh, second half. All right.
well. Let's see if this thing's going to stay a little steady Eddie for power hour. 4460. 4460 straddle for tranche one. Tranche one straddle. 790. Trying to get 790. Filled at 790 for tranche one. And we are heading below where we opened. Low of day was at 44.53 and a half. We are at 58 and a half, so about five points above the low of day. Is that you're trying to open your power hour trade, Elliot? Do you have some kind of overlap maybe that's causing that? Yeah, let, let me know. Let me know what they say. That's interesting. That's like a... Almost like a pattern day trade restriction type warning. Did your account drop below 25K? Just kidding. All right, getting a little bounce back up above 44.62. Quick little fade to decay coming out on that bounce. All right, so taking a look at a couple other positions here. I've got a TGIF that will take off tomorrow. Well-centered, but uh, down slightly, I would assume, after the uh, premium comes out. And from the PPI announcement, assuming it stays in a range, that some of the profit should come into that. You can see the IV in those two-day options still at 14 versus 10.5 for the back. I put on a one, two earlier with pretty decent size as far as my range with the intent of taking some of it off before the end of the day. It's up about 350, probably about 350 bucks. So I did 12 contracts. I'll probably take eight of 12 off before end of day. <clears throat> Leave some on overnight. Let's see how it uh, handles PPI.
We'll bounce back up to 4465-ish. Had about a 22-point expected move to start the day. Got about five points away to the upside. About 13 points away from the downside. Added a new hedgehog in ES today. We've got our time fly that we <clears throat> it adjusted with an upside calendar. It's right around 5% right now. I might be closing that before the end of the day. Actually, depending on where you get filled, more like 7%, possibly. I'll give it a little more time. <clears throat> Probably close that before end of day. Ah, suspicious login. So did they lift that? They take care of it right away? My quiet lunch strikes. So I did a, the quiet lunch and then the PM iron condor. So my quiet lunch was 44.75, 44.70. And then the other, the later one was were the closest to four dollars on each side when I entered. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately I was getting close to profit target. I hit it on the early one. But the late one I didn't didn't hit a profit target before getting stopped. Price coming back down towards that 4460 level. Pretty quick delay, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty quick decay on tranche one. Oh, never mind. I had some other things checked that made, <laughs> made it look better than what it is. All right. 
right, so we had a little bounce coming back down. About 10 minutes until tranche two. NASDAQ is still slightly green. Russell's down almost a full percent. VIX down three and a half percent, down below 14. And we had a uh, pretty nice little choppy 10-point range there from about 9.35 a.m. Central all the way up until about 20 minutes ago. 10 points all day. And continuing lower. Currently at 57 lows. Lows of day, about four points lower. Yeah, those will tend to frustrate you, Ryan P., but just got to do like Taylor Swift and shake it off, buddy. Speaking of Taylor Swift, the rumors are that Travis Kelsey and T. Swift are a thing now. Just catching you guys up on the celebrity gossip. The the cursor of the mouse is a, a very uh very strong level of support a lot of times, Wuga. All right, 10 minutes till tranche two.
Bianca, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be hanging out with the Germans. Maybe she's not on here. Maybe she's just helping out in the chat. That is correct, Mr. Rules over returns. All right, let's uh, buy some more longs. Tranche two. Snuck away for a little power hour, Trader Bianca. Be like, hold on, I gotta I gotta use the restroom. Come back in an hour. All right. Tranche two is looking like the 4460 straddle as well. Goes down a little bit, maybe the 55s. Forty four sixty straddle. Trying to get filled at six fifty five, six fifty. Six thirty five. Filled at six thirty five for tranche two. Loaded up on the forty four sixty straddle now. Down to fifty six. <clears throat> if you entered now, it would be the uh, 
Technically, you do the 60-55 strangle. When I was uh, doing my planning for September, I just ran, a ran across that entering one minute early on tranche two, for whatever reason, tested way better. So I've been, I've been jumping in about a minute early on tranche two. I think that's completely coincidental, but. Yep, same here, Dick K. I do have a Rick I forgot from earlier today as well that uh, I thought was going to hit profit target early and then it bounced. And so it's, it's down here. I would need below 52 would be a uh, profitable Rick. I'll wait for after we close out our power hour for that move to happen. Yeah, I thought it was going to, I got in right here at the top of like after the first five minutes and that first down move, I thought it was going to, uh, if it would have went, I don't know, another, I don't remember five or five or so points lower, it would have hit, but then it bounced. I'm not sure where this time fly is going to fill, but I think I'm going to get out of that before tomorrow. All right, whichever fills first, the calendar or the fly, I will then come and take the other one off. I'll wait till after tranche number three. Still right around that 4460. I'm going to, so I did 12 contracts on my BNB. I'm going to close eight of 12 before the end of the day.
yeah, I put it on with a little bit bigger size with anticipation of, with the intent of taking the most, the majority of it off by the end of the day, regardless of where the PL was, but usually you get a nice little bump, which we are leading up to a, a day like that, kind of like I did yesterday with CPI. <clears throat> Oh, I got filled in my calendar. So now let's close the fly. go not sure exactly what i booked on that one i'm pretty sure it's over five percent but i'll figure that out later just posted that in the butterfly channel Couple minutes until tranche three. Find some longs for tranche three. Looks like it could be the sixty fifty fives. Sixty fifty five strangle looks like. <clears throat> Give it another minute. Well, that uh, construction on the building stopped right as power hour is starting, so that's good. Uh, looks like it could be the 6560s. Coming down to the wire, let me go 6560s. Four, three, seventy five, three seventy. Filled at three seventy five for tranche three. Sixty five calls, sixty puts. All 
All right, let's see. So tranche one, I got in at 790. Seven ninety. So four seventy five is what I need it to get down to to reduce my stop on tranche one. Tranche two, I got in at six thirty five. So three eighty for tranche two. Right around 4460 is the number. <clears throat> so tranche one is currently trading at 575. I need 475. Tranche two is trading at 575 and I need 380. All right, I'm going to put in an order. Close eight of 12 B and B's at, I'm gonna put my order at seven. Yeah, so we'll see if that hits. Looks like it's currently trading around 690. <clears throat> I am going to step away for just a minute, go grab something to drink. Be right back.
All right, pushing up towards 65 now. Getting a little bouncy, a little too bouncy. Still got my order at seven on that BNB. It's tapping around it. it. Hasn't filled yet. Meanwhile, we need a little pullback here in SPX. A gooey, what kind of coffee are you drinking? I'm sipping on some bone broth myself. Would like to get on another single calendar that I would adjust into a double, but it's going to wait till tomorrow. If we get another contraction in implied volatility, I'll layer one on tomorrow. Ristretto. Okay. Does anyone ever look at the market on close imbalance? And do you find any anything that would provide any value from those numbers at the end of the day?
Yeah. So for those of you not familiar with what that is, basically all the big boys have to report when it leads up to, when it gets down to 10 minutes before the bell, all the big boys, like, and, and I'm talking like your BlackRock, State Street, Vanguard, those are kind of the big three. I mean, those guys control about 80% of the S&P 500. Um, they have to report, you know, of all the, all the inflow and outflow throughout the day, they have to report <clears throat> what, you know, if it's a, you know, I've got, I'm buying, you know, 500 million or today I'm, we have withdrawals of 200 million or whatever it is. They have to, they have to report that imbalance that it's either a positive or a negative number and they have to do that by 10 minutes before the close and then the order is actually executed right at the close market on close so i was trying to figure out if there's any validity or value to that number and how we might be able to use it for power hour in other words if there's a so what what i've noticed is A, like, so financial juice is the little feed that I look at sometimes. It's just kind of the up-to-date news, but like 30 minutes before the close, so like just a seven minutes ago, they reported the initial indication of market on close and balance is 354 million to the buy side. Well, that that's nothing. I mean, really anything under a couple billion is nothing. But what I have noticed is a couple things. A, when you get imbalances like above 3 billion, you know, I've seen as high as like 15 billion, um, that, that can certainly move the market at the end of the day. And then the other thing is, so, so we'll get this indication here, 30 minutes till, and then we'll get two others. And then the last one, the one that they're held to at 10 minutes before the, before the bell, that's the real one. And so what happens is, the early indication ones, you know, let's say we got a 350 million buy and then the next one's 350 million buy side then 350 million buy side. And then the one that 10 minutes to the bell comes out and it's, you know, 500 million to the sell side. So like it flips, sometimes that will cause a little bit of a reversal in the last 10 minutes of the day. But I haven't decided if I haven't figured out if that's any event real value or not. That's, that's just, that's total. You know, I mean, we're talking about, you know, Vanguard and BlackRock who, you know, man, you know, a lot of pensions, retirement plans, 401k plans, they ha they're required to report how much they're buying or selling on the close every day. That's what that number is. They used to do it after the close. But, um, you know, then things are a lot less liquid and it was apparently a little, a little too volatile after the fact and liquidity was an issue so that it, they're required to do it as a right on the close. So the way, the way I'm looking at it from a power hour perspective, you know, if, and this would take a lot of manual, a lot of manual testing and watching or watching over a long period of time, but, you know, trying to come up with a, something to the effect of like, okay, if there's an indication of, you know, something over, over a couple billion, does it make sense to, uh, you know, close out? before the last 10 minutes, or if there's a reversal, let's say it's, you know, buy side, buy side, buy side, and then it goes sell side at the 10 minute mark, which is, which is what I've seen kind of move, move things. Would it make sense to, you know, get out at that point as well, but I'm not sure it's something I'll, I'll use. So, so yeah. So the next one just came in exactly the same 354 million. I, I think these early indications are pretty much, 
nothing. In other words, I think the firms say, yeah, I think it's about such, such and such, but they're, but they're held to the one that comes out at 10 minutes till the bell. SPX up above 66. Need a little pullback. Dick K, what say you about the end of day market imbalance? Any you mentioned you used to use it, you used to look at it. Did you stop because you didn't see much value in it or any thoughts there? Gotcha. It's coming. Be patient, Ken. Can't rush, Mr. SPX. It's kind of like my dog. He'll come inside when he's ready. All right, filled on my BNB at six ninety. Just posted that in the calendar channel. Down below 65. So tranche one's at six, <clears throat> tranche one and two are both trading at 650. I need 475 and 380. So 
nowhere close for me. Uh, yeah, that was that little bounce was nice for you, Elliot, on that uh, 65s. All right, we got 12 minutes till the bell. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What you going to do? Yes. <clears throat> so the uh, yeah, so the first indications are out. We had 354 million buy side, 354 million buy side, 330 million buy side. The next one will come out in about 40 seconds. So if it's along the same lines as those. It's so small at doesn't really matter, but if it reverses to the sell side, we could see some, a little bit of a down move into the, into the close is what I've noticed anyway. And I'm on the uh, free version here. So it's about 30 seconds delayed, but let's see what it does. Well, we got a little downtick there. Let's see if it ended up. Oh, yeah, see that? 745 million sell side. So it ticked down. Let's see. 
Let's see if that ends up pushing the market down a little bit into the close. That'd be ideal. And this is very anecdotal, kind of just looking at it. Definitely nothing, nothing super data driven at this point. It's hovering around that 65, 66. Three minutes till I exit. Just a nice little red bar. Nice little red bar would do me fine. Got tranche one at six bucks. Ooh, tranche one filled at six bucks on that little tiny tick down. Wow. I'm going to do tranche two at. Well, let's see where this baby goes. So tranche one, I got in at 790 out at six bucks. So I made a couple bucks on tranche one. Tranche three is my 6560 strangle. I'm going to put it at two bucks. Tranche two is my 60 straddle. I need a nice move lower to hit that. Wow, two bucks out at out of tranche three at two bucks. Nice. So I got tranche two left. I got in at 635. I'm going to try to get out for a little profit. If we can get a little down move in the next minute. It's not wanting to come down. All right. I'm going to take a little loss on tranche three or tranche two. Out at 750. All right. So a little loss on tranche two. Tranche one and tranche three winners. I'll take it. I will take it for a low premium environment like we're at. 
Power Hour has been on fire in September, my friends. Took a little break in August, but it's back. It is back. All right, guys, have a good evening. And uh, let's see. So live stream tomorrow is the 14th. Yeah, so no live stream in the morning, Thursday or Friday, but we will be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.